the United States and our allies today reaffirmed our strong support for Ukraine as it moves to implement the reforms that they have articulated, which are vital to the country's unity and prosperity. This has obviously been a remarkable year uh, for uh, the people of Ukraine as their country held two rounds of elections, approved important reforms, and took steps to abide by their commitments under the Minsk Accords. But Russia has not lived up to its promises to end all support for armed separatists, withdraw troops and weapons, release hostages, allow OSCE inspectors to do their jobs, and respect Ukraine's sovereignty and territory. In fact, since the September 5th uh, Minsk ceasefire agreement, Russia has funneled several hundred pieces of military equipment and material, including tanks, armored personnel carriers, and heavy artillery pieces directly to uh, pro-Russian separatists in Ukraine. Russian military forces still operate in eastern Ukraine, where they provide command and control support for the separatists. And Russia and the separatists it backs obviously could make a very different choice here. And they could come to the table and they could fully implement the Minsk agreements.